Ralph Parson Hootle's side trying to create a little bit of history. More than a generation of Saints fans have failed to see their side win in the league at Arsenal. And then McCarthy's making Bednarik play quickly, which he'd managed to do up to Walcott. Ball inside to Walt Prowse, looking to get away from trouble. They've done that well, Southampton. Got it from right to left. 18th minute, nil-nil. Bertrand short of halfway, looks for options beneath me. Nicola Pepe just stands in front of him and then Vestergaard tries to go into feet to Shea Adams and he's got it in somehow behind holding. And then Adams has fed Walcott. Walcott's in the penalty area, chips it past Leno and Theo Walcott scores against his old club. And Walcott has a second Saints goal. And Saints on the counter-attack get in behind the Arsenal defence. And Theo Walcott, who Southampton sold to Arsenal in 2005, has come back 15 years later to haunt them. Arsenal nil, Southampton won. Now that... That's a well well taken goal. They've played the ball through. They've got him in on a run. He's running at the goalkeeper. Goalkeeper comes out as the ball's played over the top. It's played into feet first, and then I think it's Adams that turns, plays him in. He's got past the, the centre back, draws the goalkeeper. As the goalkeeper comes, he's not sure whether to go to ground or stand up, and he dinks the ball over the top of him beautifully. That's great composure, that lovely little dink over the goalkeeper. Great finish. Into the net, good finish that. Quality stuff, 1-0. 1-0 Saints, but Arsenal's just trying to come into the game here. Midway inside the Saints half. Pepe well, they've just it. grown a little bit of confidence. Yeah. And they've got uh, they've just got a hold of the game and got the nose in front a little bit now. Well, I don't like the space they're giving Saka and Aubameyang down the left, and Saka gets there again. It comes to the near post. It might have come off the post. It did. Deflected onto the post and back out again. And that's the first real work McCarthy's had to do, and Arsenal have a call. Well, in the last five or six minutes, they moved the ball quickly down the flanks, especially down that left-hand side, and caused uh, Saints one or two bits of problems there. Pepe down the right, Ward Prowse is having to track back. Where's Bertrand? He goes all the way over the penalty area. P- too much on that, Pepe. Not sure who he was aiming at, Dave. But Bertrand would have been trying to get forward at the time. Arsenal have kept it in on the far side. So Bios, low ball into the box, first time shot. And Pepe hits it straight at McCarthy. And again, Dave. He's come off. Bertrand off. He's come off Bertrand again, Adam. It's a slight worry. I'm watching him now as the ball comes See, in. We get Bertrand doesn't here. know where he is, Adam. No. He's four yards off him. Gabriel side foots it to Kieran Tierney and the former Celtic man. As Ceballos close. Saints just patrolling in their lines across the pitch. Quite a big distance between their back four and their midfield four, though. And then Saka gets it. And then Walcott's barges into him, Saka skip past two or three tackles, looking for a 1-2, should be 1-1, and Aubameyang does have a goal from open play, finally, it's a lovely move from Arsenal, Saka did all the graft down the left, skip past too many tackles, and then it was fed back into Aubameyang, and he slipped it and curled it past McCarthy inside that far post, early in the second half, and Arsenal strike back, it's Arsenal 1, Southampton 1. Well, you put your hand up to that one. They've played the ball into feet. They've moved the ball quickly. Nobody's hung on to it. They've played little one-twos. And uh, right, they've had the ball at the back. They play out down the left-hand side. And the wide man wasn't really picked up. He's cut inside. He's gone thrust three players before he played the ball. Then it's played on for Aubameyang. And he just plays it round the goalkeeper's left and makes it 1-1. It's a good goal. But I just think we could have been a little bit tighter and took the, the man coming through Saka out of the game a little bit quicker. Armstrong now on the left. Comes in field. Skips past a half challenge from Pepe. Only can find Ward Prowse behind him though. Then into Bertrand. Maitland Niles engages him, so he has to go backwards. Southampton trying to get some control on the game again here. Romeo now out to Bertrand again, down the left, and then he's out there with him. He plays it short to Romeo. Can look inside. He's got Armstrong 30 yards out. Look for a back heel. Might come back kindly to Adams. He's going to shoot on the turn, and it just warms the fingers of Leno. Once again, Adam, it. it's Armstrong in that central zone between the lines, getting himself free and making the attack tick. Yeah. Saints have it at the back with Alex McCarthy. Clears up to halfway again. This time it's Walcott who gets on the wrong side of Gabriel and turns him. And he's just been booked. He could be off here, the Brazilian. That's the first yellow. Out comes the second card. There's the red card. This fixture has so many red cards in it in recent years. Jack Stevens has gone off twice against Arsenal. El Nenny's gone off. And this time in 2020, it's Gabriel's turn to go off. Arsenal down to 10 men. Could that be a crucial turn in events? It's 1-1. And the Brazilian goes off down the tunnel as Nathan Redmond prepares to come on for Southampton. Dave. 
Well, as Redmond comes on, and I think Ginepo was coming on as well. Yeah, that's what I said to you a couple of minutes ago. Yeah. But Gabriel pulling Walcott well, back. Well, the second, second game where they've had players sent off, Adam. Yeah. And I mean, to me, Adam, once you've been booked, this is the thing you do before the season starts. You go through all these things. Once you're booked, Adam, you stay out of trouble. Saints patient in possession. Ward Prowse, 40 yards out, central. Again has Redmond out on that left-hand side. They've just got to be patient now. They've got the time uh, in, in which to uh, to punish Arsenal. Just yeah. got to make the ball do the work. Yeah, move it quickly. And, and they've got to get the movement and get the ball into the box. Walker Peters is drifting in field. Has to go back midway inside the Arsenal to Romeo. Chips it over the top. It's a great run. He's hit the crossbar, Redmond. Oh, he got there as well. Having come back on the pitch on Sunday and scoring, he came so close. Great ball over the top from Romeo, who spotted his run, timed it, I think, to perfection. Romeo looks up, difficult one centrally, and he's got a foot on it, and it's hit the crossbar. Well, he's done well, Redman. Let me tell you why, because he's drifted off the flank. He's drifted between the centre-back and the full-back. He's tried to take it with his right foot, and it's hit the angle of the post and the bar. Very unfortunate. Back to Bertrand. Difficult one to get right, but he's found Redmond. Now, Redmond from the right. Early ball in. Header away by David Louise. Ings was running in, trying to burst on that cross from Redmond. Now, Ward-Prowse again. Feeds Walker-Peters. Saka in front of him. Short ball to Redmond. Edge of the box on the right. Infield quickly to Romeo. Shifts it quickly to Bertrand. Bertrand slides it brilliantly. Bertrand to Jennifer in the six-yard box. Gets the byline and gets it all wrong. Overran it, couldn't control it, Musa Gineppo. That's a disappointing end. Great through ball to him, goal kick Arsenal. Well, I think that ball that uh, Bertrand's fed through to him, he's just got to feed that in very quickly, Adam. I think he might. You know, be he's off inside. Anyway. He's inside the. He's offside. Yeah, he would have been off. Yeah, but but he, when he's received that, he's just got to play that across the face of the goal. I know. And you've got everybody running in on it. Romeo chips it into the box. Another one that's gone awry. Back out to Vestergaard though. Saints pinning Arsenal back near their penalty area. Redmond thinking about where he can line up Cedric. Two former teammates. Redmond into the box again. Cedric comes inside him and fires it and he's hit the side netting. Oh, I thought it was in. Yeah, two good chances. I thought he's it had. was in. Adam. He's unlucky with the one that hit the bar and that one wasn't far he's away. Just Dave. played it onto his right foot. Let fly. Yeah. It's just, it must be six inches. The top just of the side wide netting. of that, uh, that post. More than a generation of Saints fans haven't seen or heard them win here in the league. They're against ten men. Arsenal won a free kick and they all scream and Paul Tierney reacts. Does Kearney and Tierney get his free kick? What's the referee given here? Arsenal enjoying this, Dave, disrupting the game, make, slowing everything down. Arguing. Well, he's, he swung his arm out, caught Teeny. I don't think it was nasty or anything, Adam, but Teeny went down. And then they all made a meal of it, the, yeah. the staff and everybody else. And I think it was that that brought the referee's attention to it more than anything. Arsenal staff will shout at the ref. It's a chance for Arsenal to create something. Saka's about 10, 15 yards from the halfway line on this left-hand side. He puts it into the penalty area, and it's a free header, oh. and it hits the crossbar, comes back out towards Aubameyang, blocked by Ward-Prowse, and Arsenal did nearly steal it at the death. Cross comes in from Willock, goal kick well, Southampton, that was survived. a chance. Well, 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 they've survived it. In stoppage time, oh. looping header. Free header, Adam. Oh, well, we nearly looped into that top corner. That uh, red card was everything, Dave, and actually it might have done Saints a favour, you know, because Arsenal were in the ascendancy when Aubameyang equalised. That red card slowed them down after their best spell, didn't it? After Aubameyang scored. And actually it might have been a much tougher second half, that's for sure. Everton have won at Leicester 2-0. Tierney takes a throw down this near side, the left for Arsenal, deep in the Saints half, and that is it at the Emirates. If you're feeling a bit flat at home because Saints haven't won at Arsenal, you may be vindicated playing against 10 men for more than half an hour of that game, of course.